Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show the game between Daniel Gromali and Yedina Krush. This game was played in England in 2001. Play with white pieces, Daniel Gromali is a British chess grandmaster. And play with black pieces, Yedina Krush is five times United States women's chess champion. She was born in Odessa, Ukraine, and moved to the United States in 1998. Let's have a look at the game. Daniel Gromali had white pieces and he started with d4. Yedina Krush played d5. Knight to f3, knight to f6, c4, c6. Yedina wants to play slow defense. Knight to c3, d takes on c4. A4, preventing B5. It is black to move. Bishop to F5 is the most popular move in this position. Yedina played C5. E3, E6. Bishop takes on C4. Knight to C6. Gormali castle kingside. Bishop to E7. Queen to E2. C takes on D4. And Gormali played rook to d1. If e takes on d4, perhaps Idina would castle kingside, and after rook to d1, knight to b4, perhaps. And uh, that's another way to go. For white, in our game we have rook to d1. Idina castled kingside. e takes on d4. Knight to d5, bishop to d3, knight on c to b4 attacking the bishop, bishop to b1, b6, queen to e4, threatening, queen takes pawn on h7, ending the game, g6, bishop to h6 attacking the rook, rook to e8, Knight to e5, bishop to b7, queen to f3, threatening, queen takes pawn on f7, f5, queen to h3, rook to c8, rook to a3, Knight to c6, this is discovered attack on the rook. White to move. Well, white decided to sacrifice the exchange and to go after black king. Very interesting plan. We have knight takes on d5. Even better is knight takes on c6. We have knight takes on d5. Bishop takes rook. Knight takes on g6. Pawn takes knight. Queen to g3. Threatening queen takes pawn and then checkmate after that. Defending the pawn. Knight to f4. Black to move. The threat is queen takes on g6. How should black defend? I will show you one way that doesn't work, and that is rook to g8. Then a queen to h3, threatening discover check and checkmate. If rook moves to make the room for the king, then discover check. After king moves, bishop takes queen. Hmm. Okay, so how should black defend? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for black. Are you ready? What did you find? Yedina found this incredible move. Knight to e5 defending the pawn. 
can white capture the knight? Not really. If pawn takes knight, what happens then? Can you see? Then queen takes rook. Check. Mate. Oh boy, oh boy. Can white win the bishop? If pawn takes bishop, then king takes bishop on h6. Black is winning again. So white must take care of that bishop on h6. And Grimali played bishop to g5, attacking the queen. And perhaps next would be queen to h4. One of the moves. Black to move. You can pause the video again if you wish and try to find the best move for black because this is a very beautiful move that you didn't play. What did you find? Have you seen this? Kaboom! Queen takes on d4. Mamma mia! Can white capture the queen? Not really. If rook takes queen, then check and check mate. Okay, so in this position, Gormali played rook to f1. Black to move. Black played a move and white resigned. The move is bishop takes on b2. White resigned. Please note that black is whole rook and a pawn up. And the attack doesn't work. Let's have a look. If queen to h4 check, then king to g7 and after check, blacking is completely safe. For example, knight takes on g6, knight takes knight, check, queen to g7, if queens are exchanged, and this will be easily winning for black. Extremely good defending by Yedina Cruz. Do you agree? What do you think of this game? Did you find those good defensive moves that Yedina played, especially that incredible knight to e5 move, which Gormali missed in his calculations. And again, in this position, queen takes on d4. Incredible. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.